Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing a workout for travel, workout for traveling, workout for travelers, workout before traveling so that you get everything moving, energized, good circulation going, you prepare yourself for the long hours that a travel can be and also some of the intense moves can calm your mind so you feel a little more relaxed because you got that energy out contrary to popular belief heat and intense workouts that get your breath going can really calm the mind and relax the nervous system so that's what we're doing today and enjoy the workout and remember to follow strength and ease warm up moving back and forth on the mat you can bring the heels down tapping the heels down to get the movement through muscles bones tissues connective tissue joints few circles with the knees reverse so joint mobility here let's do a few ankle rows drawing circles with the toes reverse the direction opposite side reverse this is going to be a 200 rep workout without counting the warm-up so circles with the arms reverse feel the back here this can stretch the back especially around it and side to side waving get it into the obliques side to side waves <sighs> steady the pelvis steady the core move through the obliques back <sighs> and we're going to step back and hop up very small step back hop opposite side I hope you're starting to feel the warmth this is also not a long workout because oftentimes when we travel we just don't have a lot of time hip circles or hip figure eights I usually do a very quick one before I travel because there's never time for a workout reverse the direction and now you can combine wrists and hip circles <sighs> reverse it <laughs> folks <laughs> it gets to be a little funky <sighs> and let's bend halfway down neutral spine touch the floor point the toes out and bend the knees straighten 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 straight back come up to standing hands behind the head open the chest you're gonna need that that openness round the back elbows together open lift round open reach over the head grab right below your left elbow with your right hand press the right elbow back and reach over so now you're going to use that right hand to really lift and reach and at the same time plant the left foot down feel that it has to feel like honey <laughs> pouring over your torso opposite side palm of the hand facing down pressing into the right foot and lifting with the left arm that's a self-adjustment here and it's really 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 elongating for the body all right because traveling generally involves a lot of sitting we're gonna start with 20 pike presses to king's cobras so forward bend hands on the floor walk your feet to the back of the mat walk them on the outside of the mat 
uh, hands in diamond alignment, so fingers pointing towards each other and creating that diamond shape between the thumb and the index. And we're going to lower down one pike press and scoop forward into King's Cobra. That is a full body awakening pose. I love it because it really gets your body working and stretching. Press back, pike press, and King's Cobra. No idea how we'll do 20, so brace yourself. Three. Reverse it, pike press. So we get the head down, which is going to benefit us for the flight or for the travel. Four. Five. This one is intense. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10, take a break if you need to. You can go, come into a forward bend, stretching the hamstring, glutes, inner thighs, wrap your wrists around the elbows, let your shoulders, chest, triceps, everything rest. You can come halfway up, walk your hands underneath you, sit back and make sure to press all five fingers on each hand down so the wrists are evenly distributed here push your hips back which will bring a lot of nice even stretch through your forearms all right are you ready let's go <laughs> i don't know if i'm ready but we'll see pike press king's cobra pike press King's Cobra, Pike Press, King's Cobra three, four, five, six, almost there, seven, keep your belly in in the back bend eight extending the tailbone nine last one you can do it and shake it out Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Jump lunges to get the legs moving 20. Take a nice jump lunge and let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Wall, knee ducks. Feet on the wall in an inverse position so that we get circulation to the head and we prepare for the travel plus a little core work. So here, once you walk into an inversion assisted with the wall. We're going to pull the belly in and do 20 knee tucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And let's move the hips and legs, squat, jump, side kicks. So one, kick, two, kick, three, four, push the booty back, five, unfold the leg. Use your hip strength. It's a hip strengthening exercise. Is it six? I hope so. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Keep the knees out. 11, 13, 13, squeeze the body, 15, 16, 17, almost there, 18, Mm, 19, last one, 20, really good to strengthen the hips, keep shaking it out, all right, another inversion based one, it's not very difficult, do as much, and however you can do it, catch your breath, and we're going to bring the hands in the middle of the mat, feet on the side, and we'll just hop over from one side to the other. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last time, yay! Let's work on the side, onto the side. Oblique strength, we already did 100. So we're moving into the next 100, which are going to be way easier, more stretchy, more circulation. All right, side crunches. Either touch your elbow to knee, hand to toes, whatever makes you really feel your obliques firing up. So you can stay low, you can come up, totally up to you. One, two, mix it up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. If we did more than twenty, excuse my mind. I'm a little sleepy still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 squeeze, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, 
good job. I do think we did a little more on the other side, but that's okay. <sighs> Supermans, very important for traveling. So we're just gonna come down onto the belly and lift 20 times. Now lift your hands, touch your heels, lower down. Really squeeze the entire time. Really wanna go into a nice backing extension, back strengthening exercise, stretching the belly, the chest. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, almost there. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and this one is a stretchy kind of interval, strength is stretchy, strength building stretch, so Chair straight back, forward bend, again neutral spine. You can relax the neck and face muscles. Chair, two, chair, forward bend, three, four, five, six, squeeze the booty. Stretch the body. Eight, nine, then use your back muscles to lift the arms. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, last one, 20, and shake it out, come up to standing, last one, again stretch your one, stand, step the feet about hip width apart, Extend the tailbone just slightly down so your core is engaged. You're not over tucking, you're not pushing your hips forward. You are just finding natural alignment for your spine and where you can engage your core properly. So work with your own spine and your own anatomy. If in general you're a little too duck standy, then you need a little more duck to, to neutralize things. If in general your posture is not, that's not your problem, then you may want to even push back a little, flex the glutes, find the strength in the glutes. You have disabled glutes if you're in general protruding and pressing the hips forward. The belly is also not strong. All right, so find the neutral alignment for your spine, find the place where the core is engaged, the spine is elongated. There's a big discussion about tailbone. So I think it's quite complex, but that's the gist of it. Just find your own neutral alignment and let's pull the belly in, reach to one side, look up. One, press into the outer edges of the feet. Two, three, four, keep looking up. Five, smile. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll make it a little easier for the next ten ones. Last ten reps. One, two. So glide the hand down. Three. Keep the shoulders back and down. Four, five, six. Really elongate. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's our two hundred rep and we're done for today i hope you're feeling rejuvenated 
everything is moving you gotta work out if you're gonna be sitting for a long time so you got a good movement everywhere not too much so you're not exhausted and let me know how it works for you share it with your friends and family if you think they may benefit from the class and i'll see you soon so remember to fly with strength and ease have safe travels safe flight safe car travels and i'll see you soon namaste